Hey there. Have you ever delved into the rich and complex history of Libya? It's fascinating how this nation has evolved over the centuries. Absolutely. Libya's history is incredibly diverse and captivating. It's a country with a heritage that spans thousands of years, from ancient civilizations to modern conflicts. Where would you like to start? Let's begin with the ancient civilizations that once thrived in Libya. Did you know that Libya was home to the Phoenicians, Carthaginians, Greeks, and Romans? These ancient civilizations left behind remarkable archaeological sites that tell tales of trade, culture, and conquest. Yes, and let's not forget the influence of the ancient Egyptians on Libya. The Egyptians traded with the Libyans and even established settlements in the region. The interaction between these civilizations significantly impacted the cultural and religious beliefs of the Libyan people. Absolutely, and during the Roman period, Libya prospered as a granary of the empire. The fertile land and strategic location made it a vital region for trade and agriculture. The Romans built magnificent cities like Leptis Magna, which was considered one of the most beautiful cities in the Roman world. Moving forward in history, Libya also experienced the Arab conquest in the 7th century, leading to the spread of Islam in the region. The Arab influence significantly shaped the culture, language, and religion of the Libyan people. This period marked a significant turning point in the country's history. The Middle Ages brought various empires and dynasties to Libya, including the Fatimids, Almoravids, and Almohads. These dynasties contributed to the cultural diversity of the region, leading to a blend of Arab, Berber, and indigenous influences. It's fascinating how these diverse cultures coexisted and influenced one another. Absolutely, and the coastal cities of Libya became centers of trade and learning during the medieval period. The cities like Tripoli and Benghazi were bustling hubs of commerce and intellectual exchange, attracting scholars, traders, and travelers from different parts of the world. The Ottoman Empire also played a significant role in Libya's history. In the 16th century, the Ottomans captured several coastal cities, bringing them under their rule. This Ottoman influence lasted for centuries, shaping the political and social landscape of the region. The late 19th and early 20th centuries saw Libya becoming an Italian colony. The Italian colonization had a profound impact on the country, leading to significant changes in infrastructure, administration, and culture. However, it also sparked resistance movements, with notable figures like Omar Mukhtar leading the struggle against foreign rule. Omar Mukhtar's resistance against the Italian forces is a testament to the resilience and determination of the Libyan people. His efforts became a symbol of national pride and unity, inspiring generations of Libyans to fight for their independence. It's incredible how the struggle for freedom has always been a driving force in Libya's history. The mid-20th century witnessed Libya gaining independence from Italy in 1951, becoming the Kingdom of Libya under King Idris. However, the country faced challenges in establishing a stable government and economy. In 1969, Colonel Muammar Gaddafi led a coup that overthrew the monarchy and established a new political ideology, guiding Libya for several decades. Gaddafi's rule was marked by both progress and controversy. Under his leadership, Libya made significant strides in areas like education and healthcare. However, his regime was also criticized for its human rights violations and authoritarian policies, leading to international isolation. The late 20th century and early 21st century were turbulent times for Libya. The country faced international sanctions and diplomatic isolation due to its support for terrorism and involvement in various conflicts. The situation changed in 2011 during the Arab Spring when anti-Gaddafi protests escalated into a civil war, eventually leading to NATO intervention and Gaddafi's downfall. The aftermath of Gaddafi's fall brought new challenges to Libya, including political instability, armed conflicts, and the rise of extremist groups. The country became divided between different factions, each vying for power and control. The struggle for a unified and stable Libya continues to this day, highlighting the complexities of nation-building in a post-conflict scenario. Absolutely. The post-Gaddafi era highlighted the importance of international cooperation and support for Libya's reconstruction and reconciliation efforts. It's essential for the international community to assist Libya in establishing strong institutions, promoting dialogue among different factions, and fostering economic development. 
Only through collective efforts can Libya overcome its challenges and build a peaceful and prosperous future for its people. You're absolutely right. Libya's history is a tapestry of diverse cultures, ancient civilizations, colonialism, struggle for independence, and post-conflict challenges. Studying this history not only provides valuable insights into the past, but also helps us understand the complexities of the present and the possibilities for the future. It's a reminder of the resilience of the Libyan people and their enduring spirit in the face of adversity. Indeed, the history of Libya serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of preserving cultural heritage, fostering dialogue, and promoting peace and stability. By learning from the past and appreciating the complexities of Libya's history, we can contribute to the efforts of building a better tomorrow for the people of Libya. This discussion has been enlightening, reminding us of the importance of understanding the intricacies of history and shaping the world we live in today.